Evening all, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying thanks for all of Lauren's supporters coming across and watching my channel, subscribing and all the lovely comments I'm getting on here. You're all watching Lauren's keto journey really. Um, there are keto recipes, a lot, of, the majority of keto, some are non-keto that are on my channel. All the ones that are keto will be clearly marked in the title. If it's not got it in the title, it's not keto. So tonight we are going to be having my version of kebab meat. Um, we're going to start off, you've got half a kilo of lamb mince and half a kilo of beef mince. Now I don't go lean on the beef, you want it quite fatty for that authentic taste. It, it really does add to it, you can't beat it. We've had I've probably done this five or six times now and it's taken a while to get it right but I really think we've nailed it haven't we love? Yeah. Right so in this dish here we have got a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley, I've got a teaspoon of ground black pepper, I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of garlic granules, half a, te half a teaspoon of onion granules, quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne, a full teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of paprika. Dear me, anything else? Well, I'll, I'll cut up the chicken, uh, the chicken, the kitchen <laughs> table in if you want it. Oh, so you've got God. that. Now, I know I've already mentioned that you've got garlic and onion granules in there. So you might say, why are you throwing fresh in as well? You're just throwing fresh in because it all adds to the flavour. The granules actually add a completely different flavour to it. Yeah. And it's always nice to have a bit of fresh in there. I've also got the juice from half a lime. And just to help bind it, one egg. Now, you all know the famous saying now, don't be a tart. Get your hands in there and get it mixed. Right, okay, so that's mixed nicely. What we're going to do is we're going to make, there's only Lauren and I tonight, so we're just going to do four, maybe five, because I'm feeling hungry. Such a shame, isn't it? Yeah, no, well, no Jordan is more for us, Aww. isn't it? I um, no, bless him. He's gone to his dad's tonight, so uh, he's really pleased, he's really happy. What we'll do is there'll be more than enough of this left, so we'll save him some for his dinner tomorrow. Now, again, I've tried this a few times. I've tried cooking these as a bowl and I've tried cooking them as a patty and they cook better as a patty like that. Thanks to Lauren. I hate to admit it all the time, but you know what? She has some good ideas. Yeah. And there you go. I'm going to get five of them. Once they're all ready, I'm going to fry them off first. So uh, I'll see you in about five minutes. Right, okay, it's time to cook the kebab patties. Now, no oil in this pan. There's plenty of fat in these, so don't worry about fat. A bit like when you cook a steak, you don't put oil in a pan first, you put oil on the steak. There's no need to put oil on these. Like I said, I've used quite high fat content beef. So what's gonna happen? Nice hot pan. There you go in. Turn the heat down slightly, not too much. You need to keep the heat in it. Oh, I can smell that already. Yep. I think you've heard the phrase before, but if you could smell through that screen. Oh, look at the onion. Mm. Now, all we're going to do with this is sort of like searing your meat before it goes in a casserole or something like that. We're going to have a nice brown sort of crust, if you like, to these. Then they're going to go in the oven to finish for a good 25 minutes to half an hour. Now I'm going to put them on the grill pan so they're not sat cooking in their own fat. I do like the fat to come off. We'll come back to that in about five minutes. See in a bit. Right, okay. They've had about five minutes now. So they're nice and brown on the top. Nice and brown on the bottom. Turn the heat off. You can see all the fat in the pan that's come out of these. You know this is going to taste good. Now I'll tell you a little funny story for you, we were shopping in Asda this morning for all the stuff for this and for tomorrow's Sunday roast. 
I'm looking at the carrots for me and Jordan because we, we like our carrots on our Sunday roast. And all of a sudden you hear, whee and this cabbage come flying <laughs> past me across the floor. It's like, Jesus Christ, Lauren, what's happened? <laughs> there was a spider in it. Now, if you all know the spider video from years ago with Lauren, honestly, I, I, I was howling and this poor woman, it just missed her. She's like, bloody hell, what's going on? So, yeah, really funny time in Asda today. Now, there you go, there's your kebab patties. So they've had a good five minutes in a frying pan. They're going in the oven with the chips and the turnip stroke sweet. Yeah. They can go in there for about half an hour. See you in a bit. Right, this is my version of garlic mayonnaise. Uh, this is to go alongside the kebabs. Um, I've already started losing myself. I've got five hefty tablespoons of mayonnaise in there. I've got the juice from half a lime. I've got about a tablespoon there of freshly chopped parsley and about three cloves of garlic. Now, I don't chop them too fine. I, I like that crunch. Um, Lauren likes the crunch and we're having no vampires in this house tonight. No, even my sleep paralysis don't come anywhere near us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's all you do. Mix. And there you go. There you have it. You're having chips for yours, aren't you? I am non-keto, I'm being a naughty boy. I'm also having mine in a uh, pizza bread, so a proper kebab for me. But I'm having turnip chips. You are having turnip chips, and this is something else that we've found now for Lauren on her uh, keto journey. They're not completely keto, but it's a different type of carb. What I do is I, I cut these, and she only gets 100 grams. We've worked it out, but she only gets 100 gram of turnip. Now, I think a whole turnip at half a kilo. 500 was, grams. Was, 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 yeah, it was half a kilo, but how many grams of carbs was it? I think it's nine grams per 100 grams. So we're doing 100 grams. So if there's nine grams of carbs, you can factor them in. But what you do is you cut them into small cubes, and I'm going to show you later. Cut them into small cubes, get some melted butter on them, and we only use grass fed butter as well, a bit of salt and pepper, and you roast them for about 45 minutes to an hour. And you've got to give them that time. If you don't, they're, they're quite chewy, aren't they, love? They're just a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit with the next bit. Right, okay, we'll come back to the chips. My chips, of course, the dirty chips. And we've also got in there Lauren's Swede, not turnip. I've always called them turnip and it's not, it's Swede. So I have to correct myself on that. Now what you've got there is an inch by about half inch square. I've put some melted butter in there, as you can see, the butter, some salt and uh, sea salt and some ground black pepper. Giving them a good shake. They're gonna go in the oven now at 180 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. See you in a bit. Right, okay, here you go. That's the finished article. There's your keto version. There's your non-keto version. I'm going to make myself the equivalent to a couple of uh, doner kebabs there and really enjoy. All the salad is, is a bit of freshly chopped iceberg lettuce, some sliced up cucumber, pimento stuffed olives, tomato and spring onions. 